ecofan for more educational videos thank you welcome back to our channel where we dive into fascinating world of technology and its impact on our environment in today's video we will be discussing the revolutionary concept of generative ai and how it relates to carbon footprints Join us as we explore this intersection and uncover the potential solution for a more sustainable future. So let's get started. Environmentalists frequently stress over environmental impact of developing new AI models. The more advanced the AI, the more power it needs to function. Complex results like sentences, paragraphs, pictures, and even short videos are all within the capabilities of generative AI. It has long been used in order to complete the proposed search queries and in applications like smart speakers to create audio responses. But it only recently learned to generate natural words and photorealistic images. It's hard to put a price on all the energy that goes into producing a single AI model from building the computers to running it in production. In 2019, experts determined that the amount of energy needed to generate a generative AI model doubled BRT 110 million parameters. The larger the model, the more accurate it is expected to be and it is directly related to the number of parameters. The creation of far bigger GPT-3, which contains 175 billion parameters, it is projected to have 1,287 megawatts of electricity and produce 552 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. Carbon emission can also be predicted by other factors besides size. Similar size of GPT-3, the bigger science project in France developed Open Access Bloom model which uses 433 megawatts of power. According to Google's research, a 100 to 1000 fold reduction in carbon footprint is possible by adopting a more efficient model architect and processing in generation of data center, all else being equal. When deployed, large models do require more power. On the environmental impact of a single generative AI query still is in fancy, some estimates put four to five times of search in generative query. The amount of inquiries received by Google and Microsoft could increase enormously if chatbots and the picture generation become widely used and if they implement AI language model into their search engine. A handful of years Ago, few people outside of academic institutions were making use of models like BERT or GPT. After OpenAI launched GPT on November 30, 2022, things start to shift. As of March 2023, there had been more than 1.5 billion visitors on chat GPT. Microsoft released chat GPT to public on May 4, 2023 as a part of Bing search engine. The energy cost associated with implementing AIs could become significant if chatbots become a common as search engine. But AI assistants can do much more than just search. They can also help with things like document creation, math and even marketing. Another issue is the ongoing maintenance that is required for AI models. For instance, ChatGPT was only taught to recognize data until year 2021, thereof it is unaware of events that have transpired since then. It is unknown how much more carbon dioxide was released into atmosphere in the making of ChatGPT compared to ChatGPT-3. The energy expenses would increase dramatically if it had to be reproduced on a regular basis so that is it could update its knowledge. Asking a chatbot a question instead of utilizing a search engine is one advantage. Instead of page of links you can get a straightforward response just like you would 
from a person provided a risk uh, concerns are addressed. The increased energy consumption compared to the search engine may be justified by reduced time spent searching for desired information. Large generative AI models are here to stay and it's like to people will rely on them more and more in the future. For immediate assistance with math problem, a student might seek out tutor, buddy or textbook. A chatbot will likely be used in the future. Expertise in other fields such as law or medicine is treated in the same way. A single massive AI model probably won't destroy the planet but thousands of corporations each creating slightly different AI bots for a slightly different objective. More studies require to improve the effectiveness of generative AI. The good news is that AI can function on just green power sources. Emission can be decreased by a factor of 30 to 40 compared to utilizing a grid to dominate fossil fuel if computed is moved to area where green energy is more abundant. Finally, public pressure could be useful in getting more business and research institutions to close the energy use. Perhaps one day people will be able to use the data select greener chatbot. As we conclude this video, it is evident that generative AI has been potential to make position impact on various fields. However, we must also address the environmental consequences, particularly the carbon footprint associated with the development and deployment. By adopting greener practices and embracing renewable energy and demanding transparency, we could pave the way to more sustainable AI future. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video together we can make a difference.